to your digital festival this week. Um, a little bit of background on, uh, actually, can we go to slide one, please? We, we've come in at slide three. Thanks, thanks. So a little bit of background before we start for those that aren't aware of the Elemental story. Elemental is a tech for good company based in Derry, Northern Ireland, led by Jennifer Neff and Leanne Monk. Um, we're a team of 30 plus people who are genuinely care about the community health and wellbeing and want to stop inequalities in communities across the UK, Ireland and beyond. Um, yeah, if we move on to the next slide, please. So a little bit about myself, I'm Deborah Rennick, I'm Partnerships Manager, mainly based in the north of England and Scotland, um, but we, we tend to cover anywhere. My background, I've spent the last 30 years in and around the NHS. For the last 20 years, I've worked for EMIS, um, looking after their primary community, mental health and children's sector. Um, yep, next slide, please. So Elemental was basically set up for three reasons. People needed more than just being handed a leaflet and told to exercise more, eat well and get a job. They needed to be connected into the local communities and supported by those who can help their social needs. There's a lot of support out there. People just didn't know about it or how to engage in it. And we knew the true impact of connecting people in services such as community based mental health services and social welfare. And this was always fully appreciated, not always fully appreciated. And while tech shouldn't be the dominant force, it has a massive role to play. OK, next one, please. So Elemental was developed to support the great work being done by the link workers and others supporting the people. And it is all about bringing the component parts together. And these are the five key component parts that we in Elemental um, support. And I'm not going to go through them. You, you can read those yourselves in that. And if we just move on to the next slide, please. So in simple terms, what we do is we connect people in systems. We offer a referral channel. And where, where all the people in services engage and provide, we provide measurement tools and reports to monitor the uptake and impact of the services and the interventions offered. So we support the referral, the engagement, the measurement, and we also connect. And we'll look at some of those elements later on in the presentation. We work all over the UK, as you can see on the map. We connect local authorities, health trusts, CCGs, housing associations, charities and social enterprises, prisons, domiciliary care teams, social care, and more recently universities, so that people can have better mental health, feel less socially isolated, and be more physically active, age well, and stay at home longer. So Elemental in Hounslow. So Hounslow are a key Elemental customer and it's used across the borough to support social prescribing. You're the first CCG in the UK to test and implement our integration with System 1, which is one of the clinical systems used by the GPs. And you're the first area to test the pushback of data via SNOMED codes back to that GP record. So all eyes at the moment are on the work that we're doing in and around Hounslow for that integration. The Elemental platform helps our customers tackle many challenges they face daily. So we've got quality assurance on suppliers and providers. We allow the track and monitor of patient client customer progress. We offer an easy referral process in to the Elemental platform and the social prescribers and we track the project outcomes to prove value for money. So they're just some of the, the key components that we offer to actually help support those digital um, issues out there. 
So who uses Elemental? So Elemental fundamentally supports five key rules within the, the, the community. We support the referral agents, whether they're GPs, nurses, housing officers or social care. And for the GP, we provide an integrated platform for them to, to hook into the Elemental platform. Um, for social workers, we're working with Mosaic and Liquid Logic again to offer that direct integration into the Elemental platform. But we also allow people to access the platform itself and also allow the clients, the customers, the patients to self refer into the Elemental platform. We support the referral hat. Sorry, I, I'm still got a few to go through on there. Thanks. So we support the referral handlers, whether they're the, the link, the community link workers, development workers, whatever we call them. So the, the people that actually take that referral in and manage that patient journey. And we allow them to create person centered plans and track improvements and in interventions with the, their clients. We support the providers. Um, and they can use it to promote their services within the directory of service. They can help maintain that directory of service if, they, if they're offering more services or maybe some services weren't successful and, and they want to remove that. So we support them in that as well as them being able to log the attendance in their classes, in their services and the interventions that they offer. We support the patient, the tenant, the citizen, the client, whatever we want to call them. Um, they can self refer in, as I mentioned earlier. They can monitor their key stats. So if there's been any baseline measurements taken, whether it's um, the, their blood pressures, their wellness scores, we can allow them access so that they can see through their journey with that link worker any improvements that have been made. And they can also see their calendar entries. So any interventions or services, any um, that are coming up, they, they can see that. And they can also mark their attendance within the platform. And then we support the, the super users. Um, and whether they're the commissioners of the service, the, the program managers, or somebody within that project that just wants access into that report and suite. And from that, we give them access to an extensive suite of reports to help them monitor the caseload, the engagement and the impact that they're having across their community. And then we, we look at the integration. So we're all about making it as easy as possible for people to access Elemental. So from a referral point of view, we currently support the three major clinical system suppliers out there in GP land, so Vision, EMIS, and system one. We're also working with Serverlec on integration with the Mosaic and the Rio applications. And we're, we're also in talks with Li Liquid Logic as well. And Insignia Health, we've partnered with recently to, to offer the PAM, um, the patient activation measurement tool. So that's all integrated within our own platform. That just makes it a little bit easier for people um, to, to access into so how does um, the, the Elemental platform work? So I'm just going to take you through the next few slides, which are a, a little story and it's Oliver's story. So if we move on to slide 12, please. So we've got Oliver. He's a 56 year old gentleman who's recently had a stroke. The stroke's affected him. It's affected his speech and mobility. Um, he, he lacks social connections, he doesn't have family live close by, he feels isolated since having the stroke and needs help with his motivation and keep up his exercise routine. And because of all of this, he's actually experiencing mild depression and anxiety. Yeah, lovely, thanks. So Oliver's journey within the Elemental platform. So first step is that somebody refers Oliver in. So the GP is going to send a referral for Oliver. Um, and then from that, we actually pick that referral up and it is assessed by a link worker. And that link worker will actually make an appointment and actually speak with Oliver. And from that, the, the 
Linkworker will actually take some baseline measurements and they will look together, Oliver and the link worker, and understand what those measurements are telling us and what we can actually do to actually help improve some of those measurements. So they then go on to the directory of service and from there it tells them all of the services and the interventions that are available. They could be cooking classes, they could be mindfulness classes, they could be men shared, they could be couch to 5k, they could be financial services. There's a myriad of, of interventions and services available within that directory of service. So we just need to decide along with the, the link worker and Oliver what that best form of intervention is that's actually going to help him with his anxiety and his depression and his isolation. So that he gets referred into those services and the link worker will then maintain regular contact with Oliver and um, do monthly, quarterly reviews with him. They will remeasure the scores that were originally taken and we can monitor those scores and look at any improvements. And if there aren't improvements, why and do we need to look at other interventions to actually help improve the, the quality of life for Oliver? So at a point, um, we, we will find hopefully that Oliver's anxiety levels are low, he's less, less isolated, more physically active and he's reducing his risk of another stroke or any other chronic diseases. And as a result, Oliver feels empowered and, and we actually mobilised him into the, the community and, and helped with him. So as a result of that, if we move on to slide 14, please. Oliver's joined that peer support group He's experienced an improvement in his mobility. He signed up for additional classes. His, his well-being scores are improving. He's now developed more social connections. He's able to manage his own condition, um, can live at home better and for longer, and he, he needs less input from the GP because we've actually signposted him to all of these other wonderful services out there. And then if we look, yeah. So what does Elemental, so what Ele Elemental does and our customers do is help support that mental health journey for the patient. So we look at tackling the root cause, connecting to all of those non-clinical services, we signpost appropriately based on the information that we're getting from our engagement with the client. We co-create those social prescriptions. So it's all about empowering that client, that patient, that customer, and, and working with them on what they want to do and what they feel they're able to do. We help reduce that social isolation. We have increased prevention methods in there. We develop a space for that client, that customer to develop new skills, which ultimately gives them a genuine sense of purpose and lifts their self-esteem in that. So Elemental supports the measurement and uptake of the community health and well-being. We measure via a suite of measurement tools available to us. We review the impact via our suite of reports and we measure this against other organisations, i.e. what impact are we having on GP appointments, a &E attendances, hospital readmissions and waiting lists via our extract tool. So since March um, and with the I'm going to say the introduction of COVID that that's so wrong, the impact of COVID had on us since March. What we found within the Elemental platform is that we've had 20,000 more patients being managed and supported within our platform. We've got 516 more link workers using the platform and there's 3,209 more referrers using the Elemental platform. So it, it's just grown with the, the, the coming of the COVID pandemic. Um, so we're supporting a lot of people out there on the Elemental platform. 
And I just want to finish off by just talking through one of our customers stories. So if we move on to slide 18, thanks. And I'm, we're going to concentrate on United Welsh and United Welsh. Um, they offer a, a wellbeing for you service and it's supporting patients from 37 practices across Cardiff and Vale. And if we move on to the next slide, please. So just some stats that they've taken. So they recently did some analysis on the impact of their service and found some staggering stats which are quantified as total in a saving to the local community of £372,620. Um, the most common referrals were for mental, social and wellbeing support, harmful behaviours, immunised screening advice and frequent attenders. But just looking at some of those stats, so the, the number of referrals that they received in just under 4,000 referrals, um, that they signposted 3,880 referrals into their um, they, they work across the five clusters, but I think the important thing is that it, it's that £372,000 saving that they've made to the wider community because of the services that they've actually provided in there. So I'm just going to finish up there by saying thank you for your time. Um, we've got some time for questions and answers if any have been submitted. No questions, no questions yet. yet. No. No, nothing coming through, Deborah, but I think, you know, we'll be sharing this across the council as well. So it's just we've got the details that you've done. So thank you very much for that. We'll be sharing this across for everyone. So I'm sure when once we've actually got this out there as well, it will generate some more interest from people whether across the council and we'll be able to get some potentially some questions back to you. Fantastic. And I believe there's there's further sessions being put on uh, as well. That's right. Yeah. Marvellous. Super. OK, lovely. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, for joining us at such short notice and all the very best. Thank you again. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye.